So I've just ducked out um, for a minute to share something and co-leading a men's retreat, 48 hour reset with Empowered Brotherhood. And we had one of the brothers share yesterday and we processed him emotionally. And he really shifted a great deal with his father, deep abandonment, and pain, and abuse. And he chose to bear that load. He chose to set an intention. He chose to take radical action, committed aligned action. And he went there. He went to places within himself that he hasn't gone to ever. And he touched on those places to release his father and to release himself. And this morning, his brother rings him and he hasn't spoken or connected with his father for 10 years. And his brother rings him and says, dad passed away. Now, you tell me that's coincidence. You tell me that everything doesn't touch everything, that everything isn't deeply connected, that life isn't deeply connected. You tell me that. That's the deep work we're doing here. We have 60 men going deep into themselves, releasing repressed trauma and pain and suffering, sadness, depression, anger, rage, jealousy, abuse. And they've been holding on to for years. It has moved me so deeply. This is why I do this work. This is why I'm here on this planet, this level of service, but together in community, not in silos, not by ourselves. This man wanted to release his father. You think his father hasn't been carrying that burden, that pain? We know when we do bad shit. We know when we hurt others. We hold that. We know when we deceive, when we betray. His father was also holding onto that. And this man that did this work yesterday and during the night for himself, he was courageous enough to do it for his father and for his children. That's powerful. That's the work. That is the meaning of this work. That is the significance of this work. Exploring ourselves, releasing what no longer serves us, not holding on to that pain anymore, being at one with who we truly are and who we truly wish to be, to not be defined by our traumas and our abuse. That is the work. And that requires a level of courage, confrontation with self, with past, with, with present, with potential, with pain. That is unknown until we get there. And it is scary. But this man went there. He went there yesterday. He let himself go. He let himself be. He let himself be seen and witnessed by 50 plus 60 other men. And he was held and he allowed himself to be held in all of his expression, his rage, his sadness, his fear, all of it. <sighs> we will not heal in isolation. We will not heal in separation. We must heal in community and togetherness. Being on the same path facing the same direction, same, same intentions, side by side, together. This is what is being called of all men. This is what is being asked of all men, of all humans on this planet, to come into greater communion with what we have been running from, what we have been avoiding. We have to cease finding comfort in the convenience and the familiar because it feels safe but it is detrimental to our health to the possibility of who we may become that man released so much trauma yesterday because he felt safe too and look what happened less than 24 hours later look what happened he's free so is his father men experience so much wounds so many wounds with their father. So much pain, so much fear, so much need for excessive validation to be seen. And we search for it in all the wrong places. I've been there. I'm still there sometimes. 
and the tether, the string, the through line is attached to that pain of not being seen as a young boy. So we have these grown men running around the world compensating for their pain where there's little boys still inside of them that are unhealed and unseen. That man allowed himself through his courage to be seen yesterday. Let this be an example of what is possible in your life, in our lives together as a collective, connected humanity. I have so much emotion moving through me right now. I just, <laughs> excitement, just energy, sadness, feeling the heaviness and the lightness of it all. What are you feeling? Are you really absorbing what has just been shared here? Think about it, feel it. Pound blessings to you.